Hi guys, it's Emma. I'm back. I've had a couple of days off. And what I want to talk to you today about is this abduction narrative that is being spread all over the internet by no one other than her own father. To the abductors, you have two days to return summer or many will be joining me in prayer for your destruction. I pray for your sake that you have a change of heart, but I know Satan is whispering in your ear. Another one. So how would you address the kidnappers of your pre-course five-year-old daughter after you have pleaded for them for weeks? Another one. I'm not pleading with criminals like a lot of you would and not even waiting a third day. I'm calling on the living God to please help bring Summer home. And it continues. To the abductors of my beautiful child, Summer Moon, Utah Wells. Maybe I didn't have the right to ask for such a horrific end to your life, but that's how I've been feeling inside. You know, and it continues this narrative constantly every single day. He even gave a news report the other day saying that he felt that they'd even come up his property and the road that they'd actually taken in to his property. How would he know that? And there's like several people sneaking around there, though, and that's, I mean, it, it, but more, we've had them sneak around at night, in the middle of the night. Yeah. But we've never had somebody up there at 5.30 in the afternoon that we know of, you know, mm -hmm. but they were, they didn't come up the driveway. They come up a dog trail from the woods. Oh, okay. They didn't come up the driveway. And that dog that they used, that's where the sand took them, was down through the woods, not the driveway. How would he know which path they'd used? This narrative every day that is being put out by no one other than her own father. But do the TBI, FBI have the same feeling? Do they also feel that she was abducted? I don't think so. I'm sure she's hundreds of miles away. Listen to what the TBI have to say about this. We're exploring all avenues. So at this time, we can't confirm that. However, in the event that we do develop that information and confirm it was an abduction and have information to share, you will be the first to know. And we want to reassure the community that we will let them know immediately. That's information that we would want to get out to the public as quickly as possible. As you can see, if that was the case and that's the route that they were going down, they would be telling everybody to be extra vigilant with your children. They would be wanting to reassure the public, they would want everybody to know that that was what was going on. They've said they would tell us, but that's not what they're telling us. So to me, I feel that they're building a case and I don't think it's got anything to do with abduction. In an interview that they gave the other day, they stated that everybody was a suspect. That also means you, Donald. It also means you, Candace. It means everybody, everybody that lives in that area, but it certainly rules nobody out. So putting the narratives out there about abduction does not release you from also being a suspect. And we've all watched the news reports and the updates. At what point have the TBI or FBI released information about how the family had both been cleared through lie detector tests or, or from questioning? Nobody's put that out there. The narrative, again, from her father. My detective test, and you took one also. And, yeah, well, and the, the, you all were cleared of, of any suspicion. That was, the TBI and the FBI have not put that information out there. Everybody is still a suspect. Nobody has been cleared. So putting that narrative out there constantly that she was abducted, and that they have been cleared from this investigation by ways of lie detector tests is not the case. And this wouldn't lie to me about any of the facts. She has no reason to, you know, I mean, she wouldn't, she wouldn't lie. 